Hello friends, today we are going to read A Kulfi for Free. The author is Alankrita Amaya. The illustrator is Alankrita Amaya. The translator is Sherin Bansal and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read A Kulfi for Free. So who is giving out free kulfis? Doesn't that sound like fun on a hot day, free kulfi? Let's read the story and find out. Tick tock, tick tock, Bhavari stares at the clock. She looks down from the terrace and stomps her feet. Oh ho! When will Kulfi Kaka come to her street? So here in this house is Bhavari. She is this girl and she keeps looking at the clock. When is Kulfi Kaka going to come? And she is looking down from the terrace. She is looking out from the window. She is waiting for Kulfi Kaka. Trun, trun, trun. She hears a bell ring. Bhavari runs with her little pouch. So what happens? She hears the bell of the kulfi cart ringing and she runs down with her little pouch. You can see she has this little pouch, a purse with some money and she is running to the kulfi cart. How many would you like today, child? Kulfi Kaka asks gently. So here is Kulfi Kaka and this is his Kulfi cart. You see this bell? This is what he rings to let people know, hey, there is Kulfi here. Come and get it. So he asks her, how many Kulfis does she want? Mummy and Papa will have one kulfi each. Bablu will have one too. She counts on her fingers. One plus one plus one makes three. One kulfi costs five rupees. Three times five is fifteen. So here is... Bhavari doing some maths in her mind, counting how many kulfis she needs and how much will that cost her. So one kulfi is five rupees. So she counts one for her mother, one for her father, one for her brother Bablu. So she counts three. And what is the cost of three kulfis? Three times five is fifteen. Nani will lie and say, no kulfi for me today. But Nani becomes a thief at night. She will eat one with delight. Kaka asks, so how many kulfis does that make? So here is Bavari's grandmother who apparently doesn't want to say that she wants a kulfi. She says no kulfi. But then quietly at night, she goes and opens the fridge and eats one kulfi anyway. So now she needs one more kulfi. So how many total kulfis does Bhavari want? Bhavari thinks some more. Three and one make it four. 5 times 4 is 20. So here is Bhavari thinking really hard. 3 for her mother, father and brother plus 1 for her grandmother becomes 4. And 1 kulfi is 5 rupees. So what is the total cost? 5 times 4, 20. But what about you? Kaka laughs. 
I forgot about me. I want a kulfi too. Here, the price of five will be twenty-five. So, she has counted her mother, her father, her brother and her grandmother, but not herself. And so, one extra one for herself makes it total five. And five times five makes twenty-five rupees, the total price. Just then, a crow snatches Bavari Street and flies away. Oh no, what happened? When Bavari is standing there, this crow comes down, snatches the treat out of her hands and flies away. What will Bavari do now? I only had 25 rupees. Bavari says sadly. So poor Bavari has lost her kulfi, but she only had 25 rupees. So she doesn't have 5 rupees more for one more kulfi. Kaka says, don't worry, take this, a free kulfi. This cheers up Bavari. So isn't that nice? Kulfi Kaka gives Bavari a free kulfi. Trun, trun, trun. Off he goes. More children await their treat. So after that, Kulfi Kaka keeps going down the street. And look, look at all the children that are coming, running to get their Kulfi. They're all waiting for him. And here is this child here that's lowering this bag from upstairs to put a kulfi in it. Doesn't that look like fun? I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you. The difficult words in this story are stomp, to walk noisily or heavily, delight, great pleasure or joy, await, to wait for, Try these questions. Has a crow stolen anything from you or have you seen it happen to someone else? What was it and how did it happen? Have you ever bought anything all by yourself? Was it easy or confusing? Write about it.